Hello everyone, we're back with Fake Grand Order with the Atlantis Lost Boat. Uh, when we last left off, we confessed to Mon Ricardo and Charlotte confessed to us. Which that was something. Also, it was a little ominous. And we know almost for sure now that Charlotte is Odysseus's servant. Wait, what? We're in the labyrinth, right? Yeah. I don't see why would we... So, okay, the first one's always, like, the main class. Like, the that could be... Uh, what's his name? Uh, what's the Minotaur's name? Asterios. But, like, that'd mean we're fighting also a Saber Servant, so I don't think that's the case. Let's just bring Napoleon. He always works. Let's take a drink before we start. Yeah, water. Really, isn't that the best drink of them all? Not true, because lemonade exists. No hostiles detected near Purse Island. No sign of Artemis in nearby orbital space either. It's hot in my room today. Right, all hands prepare to make land. Okay, so we'll be making a divine contract for Orion instead of Achilles, like we originally planned. But that shouldn't affect the foraging process too much one way or the other. Bartholomew, you stay behind and watch the ship like usual. Paris, I want you to do the same. Take the ships around to the other side of the island and be ready to rendezvous with us there. You got it, leader. We'll work with the Nemos to keep the Argo safe. Okay, Bartholomew's not dead. I was kind of worried Shylet stabbed him last episode. You don't have to worry about us. Again, I'll be staying behind with the ship this time. Use the container for the nano machines. Please make sure to use this to collect the Hephaestasis Clearonomia once you find them. We will. See you later. Later. Oh, a gentle breeze and no sign of trouble anywhere, huh? I don't like it. This is the exact sort of moment where an unforeseen disaster tends to strike. Dude, he, he's had too many death flags lately. But I guess there's nothing I can do now except for pray that fortune smiles upon them. My father he's gonna die <laughs> real soon. Oh, weapons? More Atlantis bodyguards. You think they've seen us? No. From what I've observed, their patrol guards appear to be restricted to a standard range. They had received word that we're coming here to see Lord Hephaest Hephaestasis. Imagine that they would be far more vigilant right now. They are most likely simply deploying these guards to every island in the vicinity. If they knew Lord Hephaestasis was here, the security detail would surely look very different. Guess that means we'll just have to take care of them, huh? Any quick moving demonic beast nearby? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's do this. But then we alert Odysseus we're here if we take him out. Got it. Great! Let's all do our best out there, everyone. Whoa, what happened to you? Never seen you so fired up before. I just decided that from now on, I'm going to focus on completing the task at hand, whatever it takes. Alright, let's do this. No okay. cap. She's still evil, though. <laughs> Okay, so I think at this point I can come out and say the spoiler I know about Charlotte. So this is uh, based off two years ago, off reading her leak. Well, two and a half, almost three years ago. Basically, whenever the one and two star servants came out on the Japanese servers. You can go find that date if you want. Her bond text was like in the game, along with Jason's. I forgot what Jason's was, though. Uh, let's use this. I just remember it saying something about her being infected, well, or like, compromised or something by nano machines because of Zeus. I don't know the context or anything else about that, but like, that even just... At this point, I don't even think that's the case. Or if it is, like, there's more to it than that, clearly, because... I'm convinced she's a Disney's servant. Like, this late into the game, well, you know, we're a little past halfway. Like, who else could it really be? 
Like, there could just be some secret ace in the hole, yes. Oh, he summoned Gilgamesh, the strongest server. But, I don't know. Also, do you know Charlotte has a CG? I. So, I mean, you know, something sad's gonna happen there. <laughs> you know, all the, all the important stuff gets CGs. It's so hot. Probably should have turned the air conditioning on. And my fan on, though, luckily. Otherwise, I'd be dying. <laughs> So that's all I know about it. So, like, I didn't even know what Disney's summon a server based off my knowledge of the, you know, Japanese servers. I really only know the big stuff. Well, and even then, like the Lost Boat Six, I know really the big thing, the big big thing, and that's it. You know, about a certain summons class. Okay, do that? Yeah, that'll finish him. Oh, that'll even finish you off! Okay. I don't want to get into anything because, you know, this battle's about to end. What have I been up to, though? Uh, well, since my last break, I played a little bit of a... Well, my last recording, which was like... Three or four hours ago? I played a little bit of a Final Fantasy V. That was my first time actually playing it for a couple of months now. Uh, I... Just got to the part where I, I got cryo to not say any spoilers. So I think I'm pretty close to being done with the game. I don't know an exact mark though. That takes care of them. But it won't take long for Odysseus' main fleet to realize we're here once they fail to report in. That said, they probably won't get here that quickly, Death Flag. Do not say things like that. You will only invite disaster. Chiyome gets it. In all of human history, fate has never been kind to those who are overly optimistic in their estimations. Dang it, right. As if to prove the point, your reminder just inspired my brain to flash back to all the worst memories of my life simultaneously. <laughs> Need to hurry. Chiyome, Manjikardo, you've already been infused with Hephaestus' clear anomia, right? Does that mean you can tell where the temple is once we get close enough? Yes, we should be able to, but this island is also bigger than I believed. Yeah, right now all I can say is that I can vaguely tell it's on the other side. I see, but I suppose there's nothing to be done but to start looking for it. Aren't you forgetting something? What about the labyrinth? It's guided by the Minotaur, right? So it won't it attack us if we go in unprepared? Look, we've already fought him back in Lost Boat 1. What's the worst he can do? Maybe he's nice, maybe he's friendly, like in a... It was Okeanos. I don't think we'll have to worry about that. Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that either. Wait. Was that the Minotaur from the Greek Lost Belt? I, I forget the lore surrounding that. Like, well, the, not even lore in that case. I, I think Kirai brought... Him, well, well, Kirai had something to do with the Minotaur. Sounds like there's a sad story there. Be the downer I am. Tell this is a good time to keep my mouth shut. Uh, if you say so, I'll take your word for it. We should at least take some thread with us. And again, maybe there won't be much point to that, since it'd probably break you pretty easily. Ariane needs thread, wouldn't? Who? We're specifically woven and imbued with a fair maiden's prayers to ensure I'd never break no matter what. Then if I pray hard enough, does that mean I can make Ariane nice thread too? Since when are you fair or may? Don't go there, Jason. Unless you're really eager to bleed. Dude, I I'm scared. Charlotte's scaring me. So at that, I withdraw my comment. Backpedaling fiercely away from that landmine. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work, Corday. How come? The reason Aragonite's prayers were so effective is because she loved Theseus, Theseus body and soul. If they hadn't had the power of love on their side. That's, that's OP. This is who have never been able to follow the thread all the way back to the exit. You usually scoff at that, but I can't deny that love usually has a lot of cursed power, especially in Greece. The love, huh? True, I suppose that wouldn't work. Certainly not with a woman who never fell in love when she was alive. 
Can't argue with that. That was uncalled for. <laughs> Part of being a hero is encouraging others to face unpleasant truths. Exclamation point. Don't be fooled, Master. He doesn't mean it. He's just spitting out the first believable platitude that comes to mind. Coming up with convincing things to say on the spot is also part of being a hero. I believe it. You can at least pretend to feel bad. And is that enough out of you all, all of you Greek heroes? I mean it! Dang it, I wish I could sacrifice you two in exchange for summoning Hercules back. Oh, you can't. Come on, don't you think that'd be a waste of a perfectly good hero right here? Oh? Name me one thing about you that suppresses Hercules in any way. My good looks! True. You and I have got both got you beat there. Talk about an endless, pointless argument. I agree. But I'll know two people who agree about what constitutes good looks. Except we can all agree that hidden eyes are uh, S tier. This is so stupid. Man, I wish we'd brought Paris along. He's a better looker than all of them. I suppose you've got so much respect for the guy who killed you. Achilles X Paris confirmed. Oh crap, sorry. Didn't mean to say that out loud. Oh, absolutely. It took a lot of courage for him to take up that ball and kill me, and I respect him for it. Now that I could say so when he's around, since he's always taking pot shots at me. Yeah, it might be better that way. Definitely. Did something happen with you and Master Montricardo? You seem closer now, somehow. Kinda. Really, that's all you're gonna say? So your friends- if you didn't see the last episode, there's an H scene between, uh, Magicardo and Guro. Your friends now? Yeah, I'm kinda jealous. Maybe you'll help me get close to him if I tried speaking more informally myself? Would that be okay? Heck yeah, it would. Speaking as a lifelong romantic, I guarantee it. If you wanna get closer to me while you're at it, that's totally okay, too. Then mm, again, that's easier said than done. Well, they're not even listening to me, are you? She's lost in her own thoughts right now. Nuns of the Abbey were always very particular about ensuring we spoke politely, after all. So we had to unlearn a lifetime of habits like that overnight. Whatever am I gonna do? Oh? Master, you see a hunter off in the distance. Perhaps we should try asking him where we can find the labyrinth. So that mean, might be our only choice. And I'll try speaking to him casually, so that he does not think it's suspicious. Are you there? Who are you? So much for that plan. I'll go to and try to smooth things over. The labyrinth? Why would you want to go there? It is our job to go around investigating ruins of that nature. Uh huh. Well, there might be one old man back in the village who knows where it is. Really? That would be a big help. Come with me. I'll show you the way. I've heard rumors that the labyrinth monster is no longer there. Do you know if they are true? Hmm, first I've heard of that. Wait, really? Labyrinth monster's gone now? When I was a kid, my parents told me to stay away from there unless I wanted to be eaten. Some people wanted to check it out themselves and never returned. Now the nameless monster's dead, huh? They've already seen that coming. I'm sorry, nameless? Oh, I think it used to have a name at some point. We all forgot it ages ago. It's a stereos. I mean, why would we need why would we need to know it? It's not like we were ever gonna go near the thing anyway. Hmm, I see. Then none of you ever thought to try to vanquish this monster? You're all more than strong enough to handle demonic beast things to your Theo's Clearinomia. So how come none of you ever thought to kill the labyrinth monster and make a name for yourselves? Why would we want to do that? Well, you know, to be heroes or something. Are you nuts? Look at a bunch of exiles like us ever become heroes. Uh, when you say exiles, you mean you're exiled from Olympus? Yeah, uh, that's been the case with all of them, but like... Why were they exiled? Yep, that's right. They said we had bugs or something like that, so we got kicked out. <laughs> Why they... <laughs> they got a glitch or two on them? So it'd be wrong for us to become heroes. Can I ask you something too? That mean you knew there was a monster in the labyrinth all this time, but you never tried to kill it, right? Weren't you scared knowing it was out there? That it could come and attack you in your village anytime it wanted? What else could we do? But God made that monster, so we got no business killing it. Gotcha. Okay, there's the village over there. Wonderful, thank you. I'll go on ahead then. There's a loud car outside. Must say, that's, there's something very bland about these people. 
That Artemis said something along those lines too. That there's something about them that's fundamentally different from us. For better or worse, there are definitely people like that in proper human history too. People who unquestionably accept accept what they've been given and settle down, without attempting to push things forward. Honestly, they're probably the majority. It's much easier to live that way, after all. People like that aren't the type to embark on an arduous quest just so they can come home with, home with a golden fleece. Hey, that's you! At least I don't have to drag you down or badmouth you. That much I appreciate. I don't know if I agree with that. Doesn't the fact that none of them ever say anything mean or try to drag others down mean that they don't need even feel such basic emotions as frustration or envy. Indeed, the people of Atlantis have gone down a very different path, both from proper human history and from the people of the Indian Lost Boat. They have no doubt that their lives are peaceful and content. They live for hundreds of years, and I su suspect most of them have never caught so much as a cold. Because the Theos Clearinomia, the general purpose of animal machines they have been given, stop every German virus in its track. They spend their many days tilting their fields, tending their livestock, Haunting wild game, protecting their village from demonic beasts, and worshipping Olympus. A simple life, to be sure. People of the Chinese Lost Belt have forgotten their culture because it was taken away. But these people have abandoned civilization in the wake of their exile. Now, that's not quite right. It's more that there's simply no need for them to develop their civilization further. I see. I also doubt that this civilization poses any form of sacrifice on its people. Unlike proper human history and its tendency to plow ahead regardless of who or what may be obstructing its path. That being said, we have thus far only seen how these exiled Atlanteans view the world. Whereas the people who live in Olympus near the top of the tree of emptiness may well see things differently. Okay. What's next? It's three arrows, right? Question that, that's scary. Oh, the battle you fight will depend on the choices you make during this scenario. Additionally, your former party immediately before the battle begins. Would you like to start the quest? Okay. Han, you're back. I, I thought that was Han at first. Han? <laughs> no, Han, you're back. That's a new sprite, isn't it? We haven't seen. Well, maybe we've seen women here before. No, we have, but I think they had like a hat thing on. Sure am, and I come bringing you all the meat you could ask for. Who might these folks be? Say they're here to investigate the labyrinth. Huh, okay. What about it are you looking to investigate? Well, you know, isn't that? Even though you're still so young and small? Goodness, you poor thing. Can't believe you have to go around investigating labyrinths when you can't be more than a hundred years old. Yeah, around there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what can I say? On my island, it is customary to begin working in one's, one's adolescence. Anyway, the labyrinth, huh? Where was it again? Guessing old man... Kinios. Well, no. Remember him saying you went there way back when. Let's see. Okay, Hulk. Okay. The Dioscorai. So I, uh, I'm assuming it's I. Key Nigos? Should be living in the oldest house in the village. Now I'm not sure if he's even still alive, to be honest. Well, you just forgot about him? The Labyrinth. Why would anyone go somewhere like that? You, you do know there's a monster there, don't ya? Oh yes, there's no need to worry. We're ca quite capable of taking care of monsters. All we need to know is know how to get there. So if you have a map or something of the sort, that would be a huge help. You know, the way you talk. All stiff and all. It's weird. Weird? <laughs> Jason's over the corner, not even trying to stifle his laughter. Well, whatever. This is the map data I used back when I went. So don't blame me if their roads have changed since then. Should I just send it to you then? Uh, yes, that'd be... In, and that'd be fine. What he's got is... Let's get his Pokey Ducks. I should have sent data like this in forever. How come? Because there's usually no need to when we're just out here living our lives. Could you not use this functionality to communicate with people far away? Why would anyone who did that when everyone I'd want to talk to is right here? I sure don't know anyone on any far off island. We one thing if we could use to communicate with the gods, that'd truly be a blessing. 
So no point in forming networks between ordinary humans. Hmm. Suppose you are in... Su su how, how do you say that? Suppose. You're right. Come on. Kinai goes. It's almost time to eat. I know. I'll be right there. Alright, that's all I've got to say for you. Thank you for your help. This will be invaluable. So where do you get a name? These people really do not... I mean, don't have any ambitions, do they? <laughs> oh, she didn't use the contract. Well, she did use the contraction. I think it sounds just fine coming from you. Do you really think so, Master? <laughs> whoa, whoa, come on, Master. She's just trying to stand out. Nobody from anywhere close to modern times would actually talk like that otherwise. Oh, you I'll let you know there are plenty of other people from my clan who spoke in this manner. How old is she? Wait, at least a few hundred years. Whoa, a whole village of Kunoichi talking like dictionaries. Ahem, <laughs> at any rate. As I was saying, these people truly do not have anything in the way of ambitions or vigor. That's just what happens when people spend their whole lives without any kind of technological revolution. When life now looks exactly the same as it did 10,000 years ago, of course they lose all appetite for it. This is a very peaceful way to live. Only because these people haven't moved past depending on the gods. You know, Lord Jason, for someone born in the age of gods, I certainly do not like them very much. Well, neither if you've grown up there. I have to say, whether we're talking this lost ball or proper human history, knowing the 12 Olympians were robot makes, robots makes a lot of sense. Explains why their way of thinking was always so incredibly hu inhuman. Huh? That the Greek gods are famous for being, you know, all too human. True. Yes, and their motives are definitely human, but the conclusions they arrived at, the way they genuinely conducted themselves, were all distinctly inhuman. For example, some scholars believe they started the Trojan War to thin out the human population after they've said there are too many of us. I thought there was dear the goddesses got we're arguing over an apple. Because Discord. Yikes. I don't know if that's true or not, but I wouldn't be at all surprised if it was. And let's not forget that in this last boat, the same twelve Olympians have endured all the way up to the present day. Sure, even the minor gods live anywhere from, from a few hundred to a few thousand years here. Now that reminds me of something. While it may be diff diff to different degrees, you said the Greek gods are robots he both here and in proper human history, right? But the divine spirit based servants that we've met, like Uriali, for example, did you why not Sethano? Her name is easy to say. All look like ordinary humans. So if the 12 Olympians are robots, why aren't there robots, gods who serve them robots as well? Right, for, existence, for instance, Orion. Poseidon is your father, right? Right, Poseidon! No, no, I was wondering about Achilles last time, not Ar Ar Orion. Yeah, he is. But, get the feeling I never actually met him back when I was alive. Hmm, I expect that might be very similar to the way myths ebb and flow throughout the world. For example, we already know that gods which emerge from, emerge from concepts in nature across various lands were integrated into Greek mythology. So while I can't be sure if this is due to the 12 Olympians themselves, the faith of their worshippers, it makes perfect sense in this case that subservient gods would take the form of humans as animals. After all, these robotic gods clearly came from another planet altogether, clearly, and are of a wholly foreign nature. But even so, what did the myths end up twisting the forms of these subservient gods to resemble the Olympians? I, I, I like how it just came to that conclusion, like, oh yeah, obviously the gods are aliens. I mean, it happens all the time, right? Well, an enemy god from a different land's mythology is changed into a hideous monster. The form ends up changing after the fact to match. So why wouldn't that happen to god being made subservient to one of these robots? The Olympians may have wished to avoid appearing completely alien to their worshippers. After all, I rather doubt there's anything else in all the ancient Greece in any way similar to them. So the fact that Orion looks completely human despite being a Poseidon's son is most likely... Yeah, I think you're right. The Trident said to me still remembers what Poseidon looked like. But I think that's only because he gave Trident special treatment, because he interested him to defend the sea as his, his successor. Because I don't think he thought of his children, who lived on land, as anything more than familiars. Yeah, good point. Now that I think about it, I don't actually know a single thing about my old man. Wow, harsh. <laughs> my mother was a lesser god, looked completely human. Though that didn't stop my parents from separating because of irreconcilable differences. Well, suffice to say, I think there's one phrase that sums it up perfectly. The gods are crazy. 
And now I'm glad I never had any divinity of my own. Anyway, we're here now. Oh, exposition over. Nobody else here. There isn't, is there? What's the meaning of this? I mean, you'd expect there to be at least a few guards around in Island Temple by now, right? There's no way the villagers wouldn't have told them where to find it. Suppose this monster that lives in the labyrinth must have eaten them? It seems highly unlikely. From everything we've been told, here is that it deep within the labyrinth, even here in this lost boat. More concretely, there are no signs of a struggle here. Getting a bad feeling about this. Should we leave someone on lookout, or should we go all, all go in together? What do you think, Jason? Let's all go in together. Okay. Hang on, leader. What's your reasoning? Standard practice to leave someone standing guard when delving into underground labyrinths like this, right? That's why I don't like it. Gotcha. Right, he, we're using tropes. Alright, then let's go in. Okay. Oh yeah, we have an important choice, don't we? Remember that. This labyrinth looks a lot like the one we saw in Okeanos. This is means the story about Daedalus. Daedalus? Daedalus. Building it to contain the Minotaur is pretty much the same here. Now, it seems like Lord Daedalus' name was never recorded in this last but's legends. Okay. I'm guessing we'll lose comms right about now. Huh? What's that? Guess that's what the records from Okeanos say. Oh. I remember now. I don't really, but. Yes. This is where we met Asterios and Uriali. It's quite the ordeal, wasn't it? What is it, Jason? Look like your head is about to split open. Let's just say all my memories of Okeanos are extremely, extremely bad ones. <laughs> now, now. Think of this as you transfer it for a new beginning. In my case, my could say I once went about calling myself a past assassin of Paraisio, causing no end of havoc. Does she remember that? Apparently, I even tried to enchant Master here by saying something like, Shall I keep you company for the night? You have to say, I would be interested in trying that myself at some point. Panic! It was very exciting. Hm, I see. I do apologize for that, Lady Mashu, but I'm afraid it was out of my hands. Cannot help that I am too beautiful for this world. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Shoulder. There are as many fetishes as there are stars in the sky. True. Be fair, let's see how that's supposed to help me not worry, Jason. No, oh, monsters. Wyverns? We've got demonic beasts. There's more of them than I thought they'd be. They're coming in both behind and in front of us. Count 26 altogether. See, then it looks like the Minotaur really is gone. There's no way that this many weaklings take up residence in its labyrinth otherwise. Either way, we're still surrounded. What's the choice? Ha ha ha, we might be surrounded. It's gonna take way more than a bunch of weaklings like these to challenge me. Oh, in that case, Orion, what would you say to a little contest? Sounds good to me. Let me give you a handicap to make you up for your injury. Don't worry about that. Don't need my immortal body to take care of these chumps. Well, it'll be. Whoever kills the most wins? But right, so we choose between them? Whoever kills the most the fastest? You're on. Good. If you guys are that sure you can win, I can relax and get some shut eye. Mic me up when you're done. <laughs> oh, hey, actually. I don't believe it. Actually lying down to sleep? Master, you can handle picking the formation. You can handle that much, right? I've got this. Oh, well, now look who's on top of things. Alright, then I'll leave you to it. Here they come! Waiting your orders, Master. Yeah, okay. Okay, so lower guys Orion makes more sense because Achilles is injured. But Achilles is AoE. So I'm, <laughs> I'm picking Achilles. Got it. Let's do this. I'm assuming we're forced to use them. Maybe it's even solo? Forced to use them, not solo. What do you, what do you think I... Artorio Ruler. Yeah. We don't know what enemy type it is, so... We could do Edwin instead, but, you know, we don't have Skydy Flash. She's MP2. Which I actually forgot about until I picked her, but... <laughs> Hey guys, do you know what a Brave Train is? What was I talking about before? Final Fantasy V? Is it like it's... It's fine. 
basically because I've played Bravely Default before, it basically just comes off as a worse Bravely Default. The big thing that, that uh, changes the gameplay, in Bravely Default you basically just get a secondary class with some restrictions. But in Bravely, I mean in FF5 you get one ability from any class you level plus your main, main class. Which is a lot more restrictive than Bravely Default system. Or you get one ability from your job because you don't get all your job's abilities. By default. So it's just, you know, a little less... A little less fun. Oh, we didn't use her uh, thingy, did we? She has like a one turn delay ability. Let's go ahead and... We, we use the quick, right? Yeah. Let's do that. Maybe we should have done it a different order. Because this might not kill everyone with this attack. But uh, look, we don't need to min max it that much. What's that hug one? Is that Arthurian lore? Yeah, okay, so we should have changed the order of it. Well, it doesn't matter. Still wouldn't have uh, one turned it anyway. So we won't have his quick buff for the next wave. Are they all casters though? I'm assuming they'd all probably all be sabers if you chose a Ryan and Knight. Uh it's not gonna get her up. Let's do that. We're at pretty much out of buff, so this might take a while. Yeah, I'm still waiting for uh, the seventh layer to come out in a few days. Oh, that's gonna recording. That's gonna suck, right? Because I'm trying to finish Atlantis in the next week, and then you know that next week I probably won't be able to record at all. It's annoying. Well, I, really, I just needed to do like at least like three episodes just to get it up. One thing that uh. Having a backlog of fake grand orders really impacted is just views. Speaking of, I've been meaning to say this. I, I want to do it at the beginning of a video though. If you're watching this and it's no longer the year 2022, leave a comment. Uh, you're, you're forced to now. It's contractually obligated. So generally on my channel when I upload a video, it usually gets single digit views. Sometimes like it even goes zero views depending on the series. Like my backlog fate series has not been doing good at all however when like the last part's new and fresh it does pretty good same with like just new games in general however also well like another times two however my my videos should always seem to do better as time goes on like some series that just did very poorly when they came out like uh chaos head for example i looked like Two years later, you know, people are watching it with your comments, and I'm like, "What the heck? I, I, it's been five years since I played Chaos. Said, why are you Why are you watching this stupid series?" <laughs> so, you know, sometimes I just, I well, a lot of, I very rarely check on old series. Like I know. Probably my most active video is a Doki Doki Literature Club video. There we go, that's the last of them. Although to be fair, most of that was because I played Doki Doki Literature Club like the day it came out. Ah, dang it. Looks like we, I won at both speed and kills. Got a problem with that? No, I don't. Sniff. Come on, Master. Can you give me some orders too? So to keep track of two battle fronts at once. <laughs> or, oh, I should have chosen our guy and it looks like he... You still have a lot of learning to do in that regard, but don't worry. Now that I'm mentally rested after a quick power nap, I'll be more than ready to make up for your many shortcomings. Keep telling you, servants don't need to sleep. Ugh. By the way, Scout Chiyome, how are things looking up ahead? This is the furthest point of the, on the old man's map. There's still a great deal of labyrinth left to cover. Oh, so he'd been in the labyrinth. So what should we do now? Will we not? I have this well in hand. Now that Lord Hephaestus' presence is getting stronger, should have no difficulty finding him. 
Follow me. I wonder if he tried to be a hero then. He's like, he was named, so I'm assuming we'll come back to him at some point. What's next? See you, OAP. I don't know what we expected this much, but sit Labyrinth certainly is long, isn't it? How are you holding up, Master? I'm I'm fine. Uh, I don't think I can keep going much longer. Oh, just shy, don't, don't do that. Come on, are you kidding me, Corday? Call yourself a servant. I don't want to be here any longer than we have to. We keep moving. <laughs> uh, just have someone carry me. I don't think I can keep going much longer either. It'll take a little break. Yeah, I actually can't keep going much longer either. Come on, everyone. Let's all take a break. Dude, Orion's huge. He could carry me and like, not break a sweat. Hey, Corday. When are you done massaging Master's legs? Make sure to do mine next. Okay. Wait, no, you weren't tired. I'm not. I just want to feel relaxed. In that case, you can massage your own legs. Oh, very well. If you truly want one, I can oblige with a pressure point massage if you like. Great. I'll leave it to you then. Understood. Aku pressure it is. I don't know what that means. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hmm. I was not aware that servants could build up exhaustion to this degree. Here we go. Ah, so if you have something of a bad liver, or that I need to really dig in. So if I were trying to gouge the pressure point right out of you. Wonder what happened to his liver. Here I go. Maybe I should stop her. I'm not really sure what the best thing to do here is. Please stop. I don't want to die. Alright, last one. You warned, this is going to hurt a bit. Huh? I mean, everything else up to now wasn't supposed to? Hop! Yeah! Ow! Jason died. That's better. You're quite stiff, but everything should be nice and loose now. How about you, Master? Would you also like me to... Thanks, but no thanks. Now, oh, now, there's no need to be shy. Huh? It's not like that at all? Ah. Uh, say, Master? What was the proper human history mina I mean, Asterios like? He was very kind. I think. I see. That doesn't quite line up with what I know about him. True. In some ways, he was like the platonic ideal of a monster dwelling in a labyrinth. But in others, he was nothing like that at all. For better or worse, he was the archetypical example of a tragic monster. If only he had been raised differently. All of his so-called monstrous qualities would have made him a great hero. Huh. Correctly taste King Minos' sheer cowardice, even now. He could have made Asterios into his most powerful weapon if he'd only played his cards right. Instead, he let his fears get the best of him, and ended up raising a great brute of a monster. It's pretty much on par for the course with Coward the Kings. As far as they're concerned, any ally who could conceivably take their throne from them is an enemy to be feared. Cut it out, Achilles. Why didn't we have a king just like that? I'd rather forget the man. Fine with me. Just like not to think about the the one I knew either. Alright, then no more king talk. Is he talking about Medea's dad or his dad? Gotta say, being a hunter never really meant I had to worry about kings. Yeah? And that must be nice. I'm kinda jealous. Is it just to live out my destiny as a hero? The idea of getting to be a simple hunter is pretty much an impossible dream for me. Especially since your destiny only lasted about ten years. Buzz off. Happy enough with how things turned out. They're really hitting it off, aren't they? This is what happens when you have a bunch of cheery guys in one place. Honestly, if you ask me, you'd normally be right with the, there with them. Think so? Definitely. <sighs> Hearing about all of your experiences has made me realize how simp simplistically I used to think. I used to believe the world was much more black and white. That defending the place I lived was good, and anyone who tried to destroy it was evil. One sense, you're not wrong. Even animals will instinctively protect their territory and attack whatever threatens it. I guess. But in the end, I was sentenced to die and people thought me evil. Don't be an idiot. You think you're evil? You should see what kind of villainy my ex-wife put me through. <laughs> victims become victimizers, and victimizers become victims. Happens all the dang time. Can't let yourself worry about that sort of thing if you actually want to be a hero. 
Is that really how it works? You don't believe me? Ask what I, what I was like in Okeanos. Even with Medea tricking me, just the thought of what I did back there twist me up inside. Or at least we're friends now. Friends? Seriously, don't be ridiculous. I feel like you're only bringing up even worse memories for me. Thank you, everyone. See, I still have a great deal to learn about a lot of things. Shall we get going again? Sounds good. We with you every step of the way. And, uh... Yeah, okay. Didn't really accomplish much this video, but... Quartz. And, uh, Crown of Silvery Light. Three added all the five, that's scary. I'm assuming that's the Cerberus thing. So, Odysseus is here. It's a trap! It, that's my assumption, anyway. But I guess it's about time we dealt with that, right? It's been brought up for a while now. Anyways, guys, next time, uh, I'm taking my break for the day. What, chapter 16? Yeah, so there's, you know, we still got, oh, no, waiting for more Masa. I just changed that today, actually. I'll see you guys next time with some more Faker in order. See you guys there. Bye.